Good morning, everyone. Darius Dell here to present our Macro Minute for Monday, February 28th, 2022. Starting with markets this morning, we have stocks down, commodities up, crypto up, dollar up, and global bond yields down. Big movers, we have the MSCI Emerging Market Index off nearly 3%. WTI and Brent crude oil up nearly 5% apiece. Uh, VIX out uh, 19% to just shy of 33. And then overnight index swap forwards on a one month forward basis are declining nine basis points here in the US as the markets sort of look to the Fed and the, the, the likely response of the US economy to these rising inflation pressures in terms of slowing growth uh, further and faster um, and what that ultimately would do to Fed policy on a one year forward time frame. Uh, shifting gears to the macro front, uh, Friday's checkup on the US consumer economy will keep the Fed very much engaged with, mon with its monetary policy normalization agenda in the face of mounting geopolitical concerns. Meanwhile, the leading indicators are marginally supportive of our view of a rather disappointing domestic consumption story with respect to the medium term. Uh, so headline PC, this is personal consumption expenditures, the broadest measure of consumer spending in the US economy, both accounting for goods and services on a real basis. That number uh, uh, accelerated to just 0.6% on a three month annualized basis. Um, that's obviously not much growth, but uh, moving in the right direction. Uh, that's the fastest print we've seen since November. Uh, goods PCE accelerated to uh, minus 0.2% on a three-month annualized basis. Again, contracting, but moving in the right direction. I thought it was peculiar, but uh, this is something that's um, <laughs> and uh, bulls are going to have to answer to uh, in a few months, in my opinion. Uh, but services PCE, that actually slowed to a 1% pace on a three-month annualized basis. So I'm not really seeing that big boom in services, although these are January figures. And obviously the post-Omicron bounce is uh, on the other side of January. So we'll catch the uh, February, March data for the um, potential resolution of that. Um, looking on the inflation front, and this is what I mean by they'll keep the Fed engaged. We had headline PC price index accelerate to 7% on an annualized basis. Uh, that's the fastest rate we've seen since November. And then the core PC price index taking it to the chart, you know, we took down a couple basis points on an annualized basis of 6.38%. But as you can see, you know, in terms of where the inflation momentum continues to build or continues to trend at, you know, we're well north. We're over three times the Fed's uh, uh, sort of um, 2% uh, inflation target for this particular metric. This is their preferred inflation metric, the core PC uh, price uh, expenditure survey. So um, very clearly, inflation remains unhinged, as the title of the slide suggests. And very clearly, uh, more importantly, even as base effects start to take the year over year rates down um, over the course of 2022, it's very, very uh, investors should be paying attention to the sequential momentum in the time series. Because again, if the sequential momentum of the time series does not dissipate, uh, it will be indicative of the Fed having an uh, uh, inflation problem on their hands, irrespective of where the year over years go over the medium term. And then lastly, I mentioned uh, that some of the data was supportive of our view of a rather dis disappointing uh, domestic consumption story. Just two data points to highlight there really quickly. Uh, real disposable personal income per capita um, decelerated to a minus 3.6% three-month annualized pace. Um, that's obviously recessionary print in terms of consumer income. And then lastly, the University of Michigan uh, February Consumer Confidence Report, uh, the, the final February figures are released on Friday as well. And the most important metric I thought uh, was the expected change in financial situation in a year's time. Um, that ticked down to 102. That's the lowest print we've seen since August of 2011. So real the consumers in America are really feeling that pinch and they're going to be feeling the pinch even more again with crude oil up another 5% this morning. Uh, and then lastly, Bank of Russia hiked its benchmark uh, policy rate to uh, 1,150 basis points to an all-time high of 20%. That data goes back to 2013. And then shifting gears to the probable range setups, uh, nothing overbought in our global macro risk matrix, oversold signal in the British pound, 10-year JGB yield, uh, S&P 500, that is neutral from the perspective of our volatility adjusted momentum signal. Uh, it's got minus 3.2% downside in this probable range versus 6.7% of upside. WTI, neutral VAMs, minus 13% of downside versus 6% of upside. Bloomberg dollar index, bullish VAMs, minus 11, 1.1% of downside versus 0.9% of upside. 10-year treasury yield, bullish VAMs, minus three basis points of downside versus 31 basis points of upside. Bitcoin bearish VAMs, minus 14% of downside versus 9% of upside. Ethereum bearish VAMs, minus 19% of downside versus 12% of upside. And then lastly, gold uh, neutral VAMs, minus 5% of downside versus 2% of upside. So with that, Darius Dell presenting our Macro Minute for February, for Monday, February 28, 2022. Best of luck out there.